Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. It's Barcelona taking on Chelsea. Good evening. What a pleasure it is to be here with you, Derek, sitting over this magnificent stadium with arguably the best two teams well obviously the best two teams in this competition this year because they're in the final and what a final we've got the pitch looks fantastic the crowd are expectant there's the trophy just sitting there and the players are in the tunnel just about to do what they do best go out and play and entertain us It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned. Supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. Champions League final we're about to find out which team is the best in Europe and the Barcelona shape looks like this the Brazilian Neto is the man between the posts PK starts alongside Clément Langlais in the center of defense and the lead striker today is Antoine Griezmann well read to ease the pressure it doesn't matter for how long you've been covering this great game of football. It's still a joy to watch Lionel Messi at his best, and he very often is at his best, Lee. Well, very few players I'd pay good money to watch, and I'd pay a ticket entrance for him, that's for sure. Every single game he plays, he gives me something, even if he doesn't play well. Just watching him move on the pitch, it's just fantastic. Jorginho, well, far from the ideal pass. Kai Havertz, Conte now, Havertz, oh that's a pass of high quality, N'Golo Conte, it did look on for them but not to be, De Jong, now Griezmann, Lionel Messi. Well, they keep passing away. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Possession changes hands, the interception there. They might be onto something. Werner. No, high quality defending. Sergio Busquets. And slipped through beautifully. Griezmann. Busquets. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And winning it back.
Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. Griezmann. Timo Werner. Now he must favour the cross. Conte. Perfect tackle. Oh, they'll be kicking themselves. Ruled offside. Good work to regain possession. Jorginho. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Jordi Alba. Well, the pass not finding its target. Top class defending. Rhys James. Havertz. Now with Jorginho. Kurt Zuma. Mendy. Thiago Silva. And that signals the end of a tight, tense first half. We're still waiting, Lee, for someone or something to kickstart this Champions League final. Mm, not the best, is it? I'm thinking about my half-time cup of tea and my refreshments and my vegetarian pie, to be honest with you. Let's hope that the half-time team talk from both coaches changes the outcome of this game. And it will be a steak pie for me, as long as somebody can provide it. 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Pulisic. Havertz. Werner with it now. Jorginho. Here's Mount. Werner. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Dembele. Sergio Roberto. Now Busquets. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Barcelona have lost possession. Well, terrific pass. He just needs to stay level-headed there. Conte. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. It is now with Jorginho. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Kai Havertz. Chilwell. And now with Havertz. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Substitution time it is here. An encouraging move from Barca. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Barcelona in their quest to take the lead might be helped out by this corner. Fired over by Messi. 
The keeper was up to the task. Well, it's a decent effort, but the real opportunity goes begging there. Mount. Ziyech. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Losing possession a bit easily. Griezmann. Now with De Jong. De Jong. And he read it well defensively. Jorginho. On to Werner. Ziyech. Might jump in front. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Conte. And Pulisic has it. Strongly in, PK. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Level pegging, but can they change that? A really vital interception. Good bit of pressing. Lionel Messi! Able to get his body in the way. The corner to Barca, with the minutes ticking away. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Messi with the corner. Well, how about that? Barcelona forge ahead in the Champions League final with time running out. Well, here's the replay, and it's a dangerous set piece into the box. And finishing like that with a lovely headed goal is absolutely superb. Let's have another view of that goal. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Inside the final five minutes now. Kurt Zuma. Here's Kovacic. Here is Zuma. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, big opportunity! Coutinho. Crossing opportunity. A wonderful intervention. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, magnificent end to a long, long, hard season. Eventually, they've got their rewards and fully, fully justified. Well, for one team, it's a story of celebration. For the other, bitter disappointment. But the Barca players will remember this night for the rest of their lives. And as a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along.
Well, they probably will be here next year, you never know <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. The ticker tape's coming down, the family's in the stand, giving them all a wave. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. Well, it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Well, they've come together in this competition as a team and they're celebrating together now, fully deserved. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the... Messi with the corner. Well, how about that? Barcelona forge ahead in the Champions League final with time running out.